The Pancreatic Cancer Sensor Project was my very first project that would actually have a direct impact on someone's life. This project touches millions and millions of lives every year. I actually became interested in pancreatic cancer research because a close family friend who was like an uncle to me passed from the disease. What I found is that our current methods for pancreatic cancer detection are really outdated. They're 60 years old. That's older than my dad. Also, they're really expensive. They're like $800 per test and they're grossly inaccurate, missing 30% of all cancers. And then also they're rarely ordered because pancreatic cancer doesn't show any symptoms. It has like abdominal pain. Who doesn't have abdominal pain sometimes? I wanted a routine test that was accurate, inexpensive, and easy to use. When Jack came to us with this new science fair idea, you know, every year his science fair projects had been exponentially harder and, and more complicated. And so when he came up with this idea, I just was like, Jack, please, you're still in middle school, you're 14. If it was that easy that a middle school kid could do it, it would be done. He proved me wrong. What I'm essentially detecting with these test strips is a really cool biomarker called mesothelin. And it's your ordinary run-of-the-mill type of protein unless you have pancreatic, ovarian, or lung cancer, in which case it's found at these really elevated levels. When I take your blood, I essentially put a drop of it on my test strip. It will become harder for electricity to flow through it. And the protein will actually react with the antibody and form a larger molecule. And so essentially what's going to happen is I can measure that change. And I'm actually measuring it with a $50 ohm meter from Home Depot. And I can say, there's this much protein based on this change. And then you have pancreatic cancer or you don't have pancreatic cancer. In comparison to the current leading methods of pancreatic cancer diagnostics, my sensor is 168 times faster, over 26,000 times less expensive, and as close to 100% accuracy. For me to make something that doesn't have real world applications is a waste of your time. Theoretical research in like physics, like the discovery of the Higgs boson, that's incredible. But what's it going to be used for? Making something that will make a difference in someone's life, not something like sham wow or something. I want to make something that will change people's lives and change the world and make a long lasting impact. I can actually look at your blood and say, these few proteins have to be there. So that means you must have this disease. Essentially what I'm doing is I'm taking something that's the size of a room and shrinking it down to the size of a sugar cube. And also I'm shrinking its price from $100,000 down to $10 and making it more sensitive, but also such that it can measure all of your blood analytes. So I'm advancing the field of renal spectroscopy by a lot here.